yeah, it's, it looks to be working. All right, what's up, guys? A stripping down video, as they have been saying for the whole day today. It's been a very, very interesting day, honestly. Um, a lot of people have been reaching out about, of course, the model who reached out on, you know, she gave up social media to some extent and uh, the reason for that and, you know, obviously who she was behind everything that was going on with the pictures. Now, before going into this and, of course, share my own thoughts, I just have to state this, that that is old news. <laughs> I feel like an asshole for saying that, but but really, uh, she shared you know you know the, the backside about modeling and you know uh, she was blogging fairly fairly common or fairly popular I believe. Obviously, I'm I'm a guy of great cloths and clothes, so obviously I know all about that. No. Mm -mm -mm. Where's the deal though? Um, models tend to be always irrelevant, you know, once they grow old, <laughs> or not even old, like when they, they have like a 10 year career and then things get sour due to their, their greatest charisma as in a profession is sadly their looks. Yes, they must have something else. They must have a feel for it. I'm not denying that. And they must have other talents to do that right. But their looks is what made them there in the first place. So. It was annoying that that got popular, because I do believe there are other ways of recognizing this. We, most of us, already heard this story. I'm obviously, and sadly, old enough to hear a similar story like 10 years back, and I'm sure a fairly pop or popular person will have the same story 10 years from now. Remember, and I said this, uh, and they will get the same recognition, because this dialogue is old news. And complaining about it and making a big deal out of it is not going to change a thing it never will be because we're still we're still humans like we still all got big issues in our life and i think that what makes us human honestly i mean i could tell you guys that you know my child was not the best but everybody had an awful childhood. I even go so far and say that's, that's probably the best way about being a parent is that you can mentally scar your child forever. And it's been like that forever. We are probably not going to change it. We will definitely try to be better parents for sure. Um, I'll definitely do my very best since obviously I'm, I'm not so far away from actually getting kids of my own. And um, I think that's it's important to remember that the important part of is not to let all that shit down. I mean, if you're all, what if you just let go for one day? You know, it was a very, very inspiring, like commercial way back from Mastercard. You know, that there was a child or a, a couple on a bridge, and the girl pushed her guy down, and it was a definition of you no, know, you are in control. You feel about doing this weird urges, you know, made to change, we don't do it. Because, you know, deep inside that, if all that crazy came out at the same time, it would not be a pleasant sight. And I wanna, like, I wanna tell you guys who I really am, who, who what I really feel deep inside here. You know, you guys obviously know me as the jolly guy, the guy who making Pokemon content, you know, joke around a lot. And I want to be that guy for you. You make me force that guy forward. I actually, I have a lot of fun being just me, like the entertainer me. You guys made that possible. And I'll be forever grateful for every guy that actually watches this video and watches my other content. Honestly, you guys make that part real. But it's very obvious too that you don't know the whole me. Like, like my fiance, my mother, my brother. They know me when I'm sad, they know me when I'm at my top, or when I'm stressed out. They see all of that. You only see the positive side of me, you know, the, the side where, you know, I'm repairing myself, you know, and I did, I, I'm doing this now. You no, know, this is me. This is the part I want to share with you. 
So you, you don't see the other stuff. You don't see the underlining lines. And that's important. It's important for me that you guys see me as that strong individual that always want to make fun content. That's also, I think, I guess that's the most important part about every YouTuber, pocket tuber, call it whatever you like. That, you know, all that shit that's going on around in our life, that's, it's supposed to be there. Like, I don't know what I want to share with you guys, it won't really make a difference, but I guess I could share with you that I've always been fairly in, a fairly insecure person. I've always been, even since I was young really, my, my parents were quite abusive. And like I said, that's not a reason to you know get all fucked up. I mean, I'm not doing drugs. I'm actually did just fine. And honestly, that is what it's all about. And that upbringing did not make me the strongest individual to be a grown up. I moved out when I was 17 and never looked back. And I think it's important that I don't do that. Like that's that's a part of me that it's still me, but I want to keep it there. Um, a lot of feelings, a lot of um, regret and hate is born to that lifestyle, and that's that's not gonna away. But that's my problem. You know, I'll deal with that, and it's important that I do. And that will always be important. I truly believe, like I said, everybody has the same kind of issues. And growing up in my teenage, I actually we, uh, did jiu-jitsu for, or did jiu-jitsu. I trained jiu-jitsu for, since I was, I was a seven till I actually was 19. You guys might not know me, but actually I was kind of muscled up <laughs> not, to, not too long ago, actually. Uh, what I, I actually had to stop doing that when um, I knocked out somebody at a pub when I was 19. I lost my license, so I couldn't compete anymore, and, um, and it was actually, it, it was not such a big deal as it might sound, because I actually I didn't get into jail, uh, I got to pay a fine, of course, and I got, um, you know, don't do this again or you get into jail, basically, I, you know, obviously I apologized to the guy, I was, I was really drunk, um, I was really frustrated, and uh, I just went for one punch, obviously did more than I was anticipating and uh, I knocked him out cold for two days. Uh, luckily he did not get damage. Like that's the important part. Um, you know, I was young, I guess, you know, that will always be the story. You know, I didn't, didn't see the consequences and luckily today I do. And this person has, you know, I've had contact with him once after this and you know, I'm still regretful about it, but you know, he has a normal life and you no, know, Five thousand dollars extra in life. I mean, that that's that should do it, right? That's that's a good thing. Knowing that you, if you can hurt somebody, that you at least can pay him, you know, for the damage. That's you know, it's, it's all going away by that. Um, but that's obviously not the point. Um, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Sharing the story. It's what it's all about. But yeah, um, like that. That after that actually happened. I always, like I said, I lost my license. I couldn't compete anymore in Jiu Jitsu in Sweden. Uh, obviously, I don't know what I could do in Europe. Obviously, I didn't want to do it. I actually worked at a supermarket at the time. And I decided that, you know what? My dreams of, you know, becoming the next big thing is out of the way. What can I do here next? And I actually decided to study. I studied and I took um, a wine degree in, here in Sweden. Um, and uh, yeah. I was actually pretty glad about that. I went for I went for wine chemist chemistry, uh, a two year um, education, and most of it being practical. And now to actually work as um, oh how do you say it? Uh, I lead a team of people um, with wine in mind and other alcoholic beverages to um, pretty much share for people, like combine that with food. Like that's that's what I do. That's my work, and it's it's a burning passion. And I did that for three years, and then I actually come back to Pokemon. And it wasn't actually I didn't pocket tube until me and my fiance actually never like we work sadly not as good. Like we never like collide you know perfectly with one another. 
So I rarely saw her, I always played video games when I didn't have nothing to do. And one day I decided that, how about I upload a Wi-Fi battle? Would, guy, would people watch that? And uh, obviously here I am two years later. Like, that's, that was awesome that you guys made it possible because that also, it has proven my self-esteem for quite, some, quite a lot because it has made a difference for me. Uh, I am much more jolly. This this side of me, that this happy side, like th the guy that wants more about everything, this part is much more alive. I'm not as angry anymore. I get, I get out all my feelings like like this, and I love that. I think that's the important part. Um, you guys made this so real for me, and that is what social media has done. I, I could see, you know. People were talking about how the community and watching them. Obviously, Mulvone, you're still an asshole. Um, but Andrew, I mean, I recognize that you're a good battler. That 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 part won't go away. It, it's too bad we can't get along. But obviously, um, <laughs> I mean, that's not what we can do about it. I mean, Relicify is such a talent that he is not, you know, jailed in a mental constitution. It's beyond me. But you know, hey, that's that's what you get, right? He's still like incredible guns. I love that guy. Man, is he stupid? I love it. <laughs> you just you, you you can't make that up. You just he is just he's in there. <laughs> and then it goes for all of my friends. Like I could just mention all of you guys who made a difference in my life. I know most of you guys know exactly who, who you are. I'm I'm feeling stupid mentioning the people because I'm obviously forgetting somebody every time. So I'll try to avoid that. Um, I guess I could recognize a few people um, because the reason I made this video in the first place is actually because of Steven's video, Magnitude. Um, dude, like we're gonna share one of these one day. I'm gonna do US, you, you better get your schedule fixed up. I'm gonna get you drunk as fuck, man. Mm -mm. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. We're actually getting back to the note at hand because. People took the time to talk about how the community, Pokemon community, right? Uh, like that's still a thing. Uh, people still not getting along, and Poketubing obviously is dying. Um, it, it's gonna die. Like the reason it does that right now is obviously because there is no game out. Like it, Pokemon is kind of relevant right now, and people have to accept that. Like I get that people get annoyed that they can't make this a living, but if you had that in mind, then you probably are wasting your time. And that goes for all kinds of pocket tubing. Like this, this thing is gonna end eventually. Like, sure, we can keep the boats afloat, but it, it's still sinking. Like, it's still, it's still going down. We're, you know, we're getting more and more people on it, but when we're taking in water at the same time, like that, that shit is gonna fall. And um, don't waste your time on pocket tubing if you're in for good money. It, it's not going to work. Get, get that into your system first of all. Investing in a capture card is probably one of the worst things you can do because you're you're not gonna get that money back. It's just no way you're going to sell it. Sell it? <laughs> no, but honestly, like you can't get in for money. Um, and I I want to comment on everybody's thoughts. You know, things have been so weird lately, but uh, I don't know. I, I'm I'm far too old to get into those. Kind of dialogues. I'm obviously a person who, you know, I've, I'm not gonna say I've seen it all, but I definitely recognize the dialogues that are given there, and I heard these kind of stories before, and it, it's not gonna work out. People are just too young and stupid and incompetent, uh, most of all, um, to actually recognize their own faults. Um, the biggest issue right now, and I will breach out on it because I think. This is uh, isn't hurting anybody. It's I'm basically are asking you guys to watch out for this stuff. And actually, um, if you're doing this yourself, change, um, basically. And that is the thing that are right now is that for the few people that want to get popular, I'm not one of them. You're not connected to me if you want to get popular. I am widely hated in community. I believe so at least. I, I feel that way at least. It's not the bugger. The bigger guys are not particularly fond of me due to how strict and uh, pretty mean I can be. Actually, I'm I'm fairly honest, and they always get that. Like I'm not gonna take that away from me. That's what's made me me. But 
the things are around is that there the conflicts are, are built in a community. Yes, I can actually do that. But the issues are wow, this is only for seven minutes. Is that one people has an opinion, and obviously the bigger person that has an opinion is gonna get naturally right. You know why? Because nobody wanna collide with that person. Uh, obviously, the person that is saying a different opinion is gonna be voted down, not by necessarily the person who brought it out, but his fo that follow that person's followers, and that's a bad thing. Like, I can't believe in a world where we actually have free speech that we are much more. <clears throat> much more concerned about other people's thinking than actually embracing that you know what this person has a different opinion let's hear him out and, you know i'll get if somebody is that wrong but you know obviously that's not really ha what's happening it's just that if somebody's of different opinion that person is irrelevant he's shut down for the community like right there and it tends to be that you know the bigger pocketers isn't necessarily doing it but they're forced to do to their <laughs> their followers reaction to the certain person and it have tended to actually been more and more selective through and through um, I'm I actually avoided a lot of that mostly because people are just not get I'll, rather they are not getting into debates with me because I can I can be pretty darn mean and and honest like I said it's a different the different thing with, <laughs> with being a modern is, is the same thing of you know getting um pat on your shoulder and a pet with a share to your face yeah pets but that that's how it goes but that's that's a big deal right now and that's not gonna go away until things are changing and the people that's gonna change it are of course the bigger tubers it's always gonna be those guys but that's not gonna change for a reason and that is they will lose people for that they will lose money yes you heard me so opinions are not based on money and and is it's not for everybody like I'm not saying everybody's doing this I'm not saying that that's gonna be a big thing but we are all I am already seeing it most people have recognized that and I'll encourage you guys to check that out yourself and you will find out that the people that were relevant for a few years ago are pretty much dead because of a thing or something they said and I I don't think that's gonna change and there is really nothing I can do to enforce it to change either. Uh, more than, you know, talking about it. Um, tell you guys that, you know, watch out for it. But honestly, try to be yourself as much as you can. And don't be follow following blindly. That's probably the worst part you can do. And I'm so glad that the people that are following me are very, very strong individuals. And people actually, I like you. I like you guys a lot. And just because you are that honest with me, I'm, I'm not, like, the people that, uh, no, I'm not going to go down that route. You guys get it, don't you? Um, wow, we're actually hitting 18 minutes. That's, that's kind of insane for being just, like, talking. Um, I don't know what else to say. Um, the community is healthy, but... Have some flaws. People in it are young, and um, you people are joining every day. And they're all young, and I think we need to treat these guys right. And I think we need to learn that Relicify, Shofu, Shady Penguin, yeah, or Jonathan, um, they're not the face of the community. They are not spreading what I would call a good grown-up view about Pokemon. Shaded Penguin is better, uh, but if people are finding, like I did when I saw that, I found Shofu, uh, Bad Marilyn, of course, that's that's not okay. I, I'm not too fond of that. Um, I, no disrespect to Shofu as a person, but as a, he is not Pokemon anymore anyway, not as much at least. But he was Bad Marilyn a lot, and I, I'm being that I was 25 when I actually found out about him, I thought that he was too arrogant. For new viewers. Andrew of course, Mulvone, also a person that I was finding out just when I started off. Not a good person to uh, to uh, to kind of get to know. And release the fight. Look at me start. Obviously he's not the best 
if I had to recommend people that I think represent a good part about the community and the people that I truly believe are worth watching, um, Singer is one of them. Um, just because he's a very modest, he's a very, he's a very adult view uh, about the community, about Pokemon, about himself. Like, he is very self aware. Um, magnitude, one of those persons too, and it's all, only because of one thing. He is also extremely self aware. He can be cocky, but he's cocky in a way that it's very obvious that he's joking around. And that's a person. Uh, that is a person I kind of want to strive for to become as an entertainer. Obviously, I have my own niche on it, but um, it's him I kind of looked on when it came to how I should behave. Those two are probably the only two I can recommend as good start off points for new viewers. The rest are, well, the rest are, they're small like us, most of us actually are really good. Miguel is an amazing Mogwai, um, gotta give him a shout out about that. He's a very, very adult um, and funny. And I think that's important. We need, as entertainers, we need to be funny. We need to embrace the Pokemon for the game it is. It's competitive, yes, but after all, instead of that, it's just a game. It has to be. You guys have to be the better part of the community. So I'll end the video like that. I hope you got something out of it. I'm not rambling for the last five minutes, and um, I don't know. Where? <laughs> I don't know what to end this. See you guys. Take care. Bye.